Hi guys, welcome to workout day 25. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to do 20 minutes um, of core abs, obliques, lower back work. Okay, so there'll be no weights involved, it's just all body weight uh, and literally 20 different exercises. Okay, so each exercise will last for 40 seconds with 20 seconds recovery and in that 20 seconds I'll quickly demonstrate and show you what the next exercise will be. If you're finding this particularly difficult, just reduce the time a little bit, maybe by five seconds. Um, obviously, if you want to up, up this and go a bit more hardcore, then of course, add five seconds on. However, I will be setting my time for 40 seconds and 20 seconds recovery. Okay, so first exercise is going to be mountain climbers, diagonal. So hands shoulder width apart, up on your toes, good posture, and you're going to go diagonal, so to the opposite knees. All right guys, so stand by in four seconds. We're gonna start, maybe doing this for 40 seconds. Keep the technique, no need to rush. Let's focus on your breathing as well. Remember, every exercise you'll only be doing once, so make the most of it, make it work, make it feel it burn. Five seconds left. Okay, next exercise is going to be oblique twists. We're going to have our feet in the air, right angles on our knees, hands back, and twist across alternate sides. Okay, just enjoy the last few seconds rest. And off we go. So take your time, keep your control. There's no race, there's no um, challenge with reps. We're just working through those 20 different exercises. Okay, so obviously exercise one, two. Lower back should stay flat. Twist the body towards the outside of the knee. You don't necessarily need to twist too far. So a little movement to get the obliques working. Support your head if you need to, but don't pull on your neck. Okay, third exercise, gonna be back extensions. Okay, a couple of options on your back extensions, hands by your ears or hands on your lower back. Okay, so this is slightly easier and this is slightly harder. When you go up, only go as far as you can go. Always keep your head nice looking down. Off you go. Squeeze through your lower back, into the glutes. Aim to keep your feet touching the floor. Okay, fourth exercise is going to be reverse ab curls. Okay, so for this one, put your, um, put your hands to the side, head off the floor if it feels comfortable, legs are coming up, slowly down, and repeat. If you prefer to hold your head, you can. If you need to bend your knees a little bit, you can just to make it a tiny bit easier. But remember, nice and slow. Up, slowly down, slow, 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 better. Come on, 10 seconds to go. You should definitely feel this working by this stage. Excellent. Fifth exercise, you side plank raises. We're gonna try and switch this after 20 seconds. 
So when we start, we're going to go up into this position, and we're going to go up and down, up and down. Small little raises. Okay, here we go. First 20 seconds. Okay, swap sides. So I managed to do about 10, 10 on that side, so I'm obviously going to try and do 10 on this side as well. Okay, good. On to sit for exercise. It's going to be sit ups. So just put your heels into the ground, hands on your chest if you can, come up and back down again. If you're struggling with that, put your hands forwards and sit up like so. Okay, we're off guys. So it's up like this as an option and down slowly. Hands across your chest, squeeze your abs, straighten your back at the top, curl on the way down and breathe. Good quality reps guys, 40 seconds is plenty of time. We don't need to race or rush. Let's get into that zone, make the abs work. Don't prevent it, if anything, make it work even more if you can. Okay, good. On to the seventh exercise, bicycle abs. So what we're gonna do on this one, it's gonna have our feet up, and we're just going to go to opposite elbow to knee, legs move, arms move together. The ab area pretty much stays where it is, so stay quite flat on the ground. Here we go. Legs up, one leg out, arm comes in, alternate. If you're struggling with this one, you can put your feet on the floor and do it like this. Otherwise, keep your legs up. Ten seconds left. Okay, good. Okay, pulses will be number eight. Nice and easy, guys. Put your hands on your thighs, and you just go up. Tiny little crunch, little movement. Want to sort of vary this a little bit. So we do a little bit at the bottom and a little bit at the top. So to start with, we go to the bottom. Just a little, little tiny little crunch, not quite going all the way up. Just little movements. Oh, I still feel that working really strong into the abs here. Let me go at your own pace, at your own speed. Have a quick rest if you're struggling too much. Now we're going to just work a little bit higher up. We go all the way to the top, and only halfway down. For another long left, seven seconds. Okay, exercise number nine, with secretary twist. Okay, so for this one, you're going to go one foot across your knee, one hand on the floor, and it's just going to come across the body, like so. Legs don't really move. Arm here stays out. After 20 seconds, we'll swap sides. Okay, off we go. First step, 20 seconds. Try and bring that elbow all the way back down to the floor. And then try and get as close to your knee and shin as you can. Another five seconds. And swap sides. So opposite arm out. Come all the way back to the floor with your elbow. You twist it all together as one. We're not just moving the arm, we're using the whole trunk and twisting. Okay. Next exercise is going to be Superman's. 
So for this one, you're going to be on box position on fours. You're going to bring one leg out, an arm out, opposite sides, back to the middle, and then alternate while stabilizing your core and getting a nice stretch through your shoulders and working into the glutes. Nice stretch through the arm and the toes. Try not to tilt the body, stay light, keep that core activated, breathe on every rep. Nearly there. Okay, good guys. So, Set, uh, ab curls will be next, okay? So li literally just legs up and little crunches, keeping your lower back on the floor. Just enjoy the rest of that recovery time. Here we go. Where you position your elbows makes all the difference. If it comes forwards like this, it's slightly easier. It's out here, much harder. So you judge, you be sensible about your levels. And it's all about how it feels. Is it working? Is it effective? You're only competing with yourselves. Couple more seconds. Okay, good. Next exercise is going to be side oblique raises. So this is a really good one, guys. What I want you to do is bring your knees to the side, a little at a little oblique crunch in here, switch to the other side, and a little twist and raise. Okay, off we go. So a little twist to the side, a little crunch, a little raise into the obliques, switch, and repeat. You might not be able to come particularly high, that's not a problem. There's not a lot of movement to be had in this position if you get the obliques just right. Just a nice little raise. Okay, 20 seconds. Okay, next one's going to be uh, from a plank position up here, nice and high. And what I'm going to do is just raise one foot up into the air and keep that going for 40 seconds. If you want to make that a little bit harder, we're going to have our forearms here and we bring the foot up and we alternate. Okay, so we've got two levels on your hands or on your forearms. Activate your core, your glutes, your shoulders, keep everything strong. Remember to breathe. Just that little leg raise, working into the glutes. Halfway already. Okay, next one's going to be scissors. So for that, we're just going to bring our legs across our body, like this, so they cross over each other, out wide and across. Just enjoy the last few seconds. Okay, any time you're struggling with this guys, have a few seconds rest. Okay, if your legs don't come too far off the ground, Open your thighs, closing them above and below each time. It's going to get hard, but try and stick with it if you can. We've got about 10 seconds left. I'm struggling just as much as you. Five seconds. Okay, brilliant. Okay, plank up down, so thumb knees before, guys, I'm sure. 
Put your back to the plank position on your forearms, and we're going to switch to the top, back down, and so on. You can either swap and alternate which arm you press with, or change after 20 seconds. I'm going to alternate every time. So it's up with my left, down with my left, up right, down with my right. Up left, down left, up right, down right. Okay, keep that going at your own speed. We're halfway already. So taking a little pause at the bottom, a little pause at the top. Okay, we should have five to go, guys. Alternating oblique crunches. Okay, so this one is basically leg comes in and you twist across diagonally to get the obliques working. It was an easier level from one of the sets we did earlier. Here we go. Opposite elbow comes towards the opposite knee. Always come back to the centre as you touch the floor. So you're looking straight up, here, twist, support your head if you need to, don't pull on your neck, keep focus on your core area, 15 seconds left. Okay, walkouts guys, we've literally got four exercises left. Walkouts, you stand, stand up like this. Don't try not to bend your knees, keep them nice and straight, walk out to a press up position and walk up again. Okay. There you go, so keep legs straight, hamstring stretch, walk out, little pause here, and then walk back again. Whole time keeping your feet in contact with the ground and your heels down as well until you get to this position where you come up onto your toes. As you walk back, heels down flat, stretch, 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 stand up. Okay, over halfway already. Walk it out and back up. Good. Just feel that strength through your core. You've probably got time for one more. Okay, brilliant. So, walk out complete. Hollow crunch. Definitely a tough one, this guy. So, your legs and arms straight, coming together, out together. Okay, if you're struggling, you may have to bend your knees like this, or have a few seconds rest. Okay, so arms straight, legs straight, up into the middle, out. If your head doesn't move too much, just a tiny little crunch maybe here. Out, come back in, just a little pause as you get to the middle. So a little crunch in here, a little pause, and out, over halfway already. Nice stretch in the middle there. Here we go, 10 seconds left. Get a few more in. And again, come on, one more. Okay, we're nearly there guys, we've only got a couple to go. Hip bridges, okay, so this should this will be a bit, give your abs a little bit of a rest, but I just want it to come up, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hamstrings, and back down again. Wave your hands to you, you can lean to the side, you can lean above your chest, wherever feels comfortable. Okay, get off we go. Up, a little squeeze on the hamstrings and the glutes, back down, up, so you don't rest for too long, down, up, and down, up, and down. Just keep that going, okay? Give your core a little bit of a rest, the work the posterior chain. All important part, keeping us balanced throughout our whole bodies. Back part of our body gets worked the least, especially our glutes. So this is a really good exercise for that. If you're finding this particularly easy, take it into a single leg, alternating bridge. Okay, right, 
Last exercise, another set of back extensions. This time, I just want you to do it so your arms go out to the side as you do back, as you do back extension, okay? So you're literally out here, up and down. So we're trying to deliberately lift our arms up as well to get that squeeze in the upper back. Here we go, last step. Up, squeeze, back down. Up, down. Feel that strength, feel that power in your upper back and your lower back and your glutes. Just relax your neck as much as possible. Remember to breathe. Nearly there. Okay, just a nice little stretch first, guys. Sit down on your heels, arms in front. Just take a few seconds to stretch out everything now, particularly your abs, your obliques, your lower back. And then just come forwards. And just go into that nice little forward stretch through your hips, your abs, a little bit into your legs maybe. Okay, another little stretch for your side and your obliques. In your, we're going to do another little back stretch, but it'll be a little bit different. Okay, so in other words, like this, use one arm across, then nice and wide across, get right into the obliques and the quadrus lumbar, which is just below that. Really exaggerate that movement, get a nice lat stretch as well. And squat sides. Roll the shoulders around, loosen them up for just about five reps each way would be nice. And the other way. And the last one, I'm just going to finish with a little knee roll side to side. Just like this, just ease off lower back tension, oblique tension. Just going to get about 20 of these in, so let's assume that's six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Just slow it down towards the last few exercises, like right down. When we get to 20, we're just going to hold it and just hold it there. And if, if you're on the same side as me, which is on my right side, I'm going to straighten my right leg out towards the, the camera there. My left leg is going to straighten out, keep out to the side. Both arms are on the floor, trying to get that shoulder, that left shoulder of mine here, towards the floor, right hand on the top of the leg, just to assist, get another little deep stretch. A couple more seconds, and swap sides, just slide that um, left leg away, right leg over the top, tilt to the side. Now focus on trying to twist the upper body and keep the shoulders down towards the floor. You feel that stretch into the lower back, the glutes, the IT band. Really good stretch. A few more seconds. Okay, and then all we're doing in this position is shake your legs. Okay, let the muscles completely relax. Shake out, shake out, shake out. Bring your knees into the chest, hug your knees and bring your head up slightly. Show you from a different angle. Bring them in. And slide them away. Legs straight, arms over your head, full body stretch, just for 10 seconds, finish off with. All right, guys, and that concludes today's workout. Um, I hope you found that uh, quite tough. You know, you should, if you've worked hard enough on your technique, you should definitely feel that 
probably feel that a little bit tomorrow maybe as well. Just remember to keep stretching, keep recovering, and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Well done.